true classic tees. Let's go. Y'all know the home is true classic tees, man. The shirt that is built for us, you know, those guys that are kind of athletic, but maybe not all the way athletic or the guys that, you know, just need something to make them feel a little bit more athletic, baby. That's what you get when you talk about true classic or tees. Just straight up comfortable tees. Absolutely comfortable tees. I mean, because that's the thing with this, man. It is built to feel like you're just lounging around. But at the same time, have that athletic cut up top where most of us feel a little bit better. But at the same time, get a little bit more playroom in that midsection. But with True Classic Tees, they have more than just t-shirts. I mean, they got the long sleeves. They got the uh, sweatpants, the joggers, the shorts, um, hoodies, all type of different loungewear stuff that just make you feel good, make you feel comfortable. And that's how it's supposed to be because you got to look good and you got to feel good more importantly. But of course, if we're talking about them, you know we got a promo code. And that promo code is MOATS. You use that at trueclassictees.com. You get 25% off of your purchase. And it's free shipping if you have a purchase for over $100 as well. So make sure you check out True Classic Tees because at the end of the day, we got to know it's a new year. So when it's a new year, it's a new me. And you know I got the new T. Shout out to the homies at True Classic Tees for that as well, baby. Hey, if I'm Mitch, I'm cheaper than Tannehill. You already know what I can do. I'm competent. I've taken a team to the postseason. I've even won here. So you know I can handle it. I've had the crazy situation, you know, where I come here preseason and then you saw, you draft the guy one. Did you hear his you comments? Know? I did not. I did not. Uh, what did he say, bro? What did he say? Regrets signing day one. Mm-hmm. Thought he signed a little too quick. Uh, it makes sense. Should've, should've it makes sense. Laid out the scenarios yep. a little bit better, he said. It makes sense. He, he jumped the gun. It makes sense. Dude, no, I, see, I'm not buying it. He made the right call, it's I feel rush, like. It's, 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 it's just literally we drafted Kenny Pickett. That, you couldn't have drafted Kenny. Because that he was, was in the one. perfect scenario if we didn't draft Kenny yes. Pickett. Yes, Kenny was the— It could have been any other quarterback, too. Kenny, we could have drafted Malik in the second Kenny third round. Kenny was the <laughs> one quarterback that we couldn't draft that we drafted. But he, Mitch couldn't have predicted yeah. that either. No, of we course We were drafting 20. Yeah. It just happened. But I think for Mitch, I think what he might be saying is this, though. If he's at any other organization, you draft any of these quarterbacks, it doesn't matter. But because you come to Pittsburgh, <laughs> if they took that quarterback, it did matter. So he guessed wrong. Think about if 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 he was in. Yeah, that's what I mean. He can't he, regret the decision. He, you just he, guessed wrong. Bro, you, like, like he could have literally guessed wrong, went, man. And he he could have went to New Orleans, <laughs> and New Orleans could have drafted Kenny, and it would never have been a big deal because it wasn't here in Pittsburgh. He could have went to Tennessee, <laughs> or excuse me, Tennessee. Obviously, had Tannehill, but let's see who else. Um, oh, who else took one of these quarterbacks, man? Yeah. Oh my God, Carolina. He could have went to Carolina, right? It would have been fine. They could have drafted Pitt. Everything would have been good. So Kenny Malik and Matt Corral. It would have been fine. It just couldn't be here in Pittsburgh. <laughs> and it could have been Kenny Pickett, bro. That was a that was the worst were, case scenario for him, What were the percent him, chance of that happening? Like 1% or 2%? Yeah. Was, I mean, I wouldn't say it was that slim because we knew we needed a quarterback. And well, I guess knowing that, after the fact, Tomlin right. and, and the front office yeah. really wanted Pickett. And also seeing how the teams looked at this class. Remember, we were talking about how they viewed this class as supposed to be weak. And then it was going through that weird vibe of at first nobody was going to be a first round or high draft pick. And then it was everybody's in the top five, top ten. And then it played out how it played out. So I think that also, you know, was at play too. But, yeah, man, I don't, I don't blame Mitch, man. <laughs> Mitch said, if I could do it again, man, I'm not coming to Pittsburgh. <laughs> I don't blame him for saying no, I don't know, dude. Like you made a good decision. It's it, just it was the perfect decision. The outlier. Like there's happened. a reason you you signed immediately because the this out, was a really good scenario. It, you were gonna have to compete with Mason. Rubel. It was an outlier scenario. <laughs> like, you had, you were compete with Mason and Haskins. That's it was it was never supposed to be Kenny. Yeah. It was Mason and Haskins. Think yeah, about a it. A team that has a receiving Think core about of Claypool, it, Deontay, it was a Mason move. and Haskins that he was going to compete against, and it just so happens Haskins passes away. Then we draft Kenny. And the rest is history, bro. The rest is history. So yeah, bro. I think he needs to give himself more credit. I think yeah. it was a fine signing. He's he's just playing he's pissed, the result. Bro. He's, he's playing the result. He's pissed. It happens. It happens. Like it happens. what other decision were you gonna make? It happens. This bro. was such a good scenario for a quarterback like him to. Were come you gonna to. go to Carolina? It yeah. was dysfunction down there. They still was kind of on the hook with Darnold. Were you gonna go to Cleveland? Because before then, remember that was a debate of. Is Cleveland getting Watson, or is Watson gonna get cleared, or who do we want, and all that? So it was like, would you went to Cleveland? I don't think that would have been a better scenario I for you. I think that was his hometown. Oh. But if, you, Cleveland, you but if, okay. but if Cleveland was in the sweepstakes for Watson, that just goes to show they weren't really they thinking Trubisky like yeah. that. Absolutely. So listen, who else? Who else was another option for him then when he was coming out last year? Uh, 
uh, in terms of quarterback, Seattle. Oh, uh, yeah, so you could have went on Seattle? Texans. I don't know if Texans would have wanted him, though, because... Davis Mills, yeah. Yeah, they were kind of on the right. Davis Mills train. Yeah. They didn't want to draft a quarterback. Mm-hmm. They were just going to go with him for another season. Yeah. Funny he said that, though. That is funny. I get it, though. <laughs> He's I gone. Get we're, it. we're trading him. I definitely get it. I'm telling you, bro, he, he, we said it when when it got to that point, we were like, oh, would, would Mitch be the perfect backup? Yes. Do you think he's going to do it? Absolutely no, not. Him and Mason, him and Mason Absolutely not. Don't. It is done, That's bro. That's why I was thinking Dobbs. Yeah, it I'm is like, done. If Dobbs wanted to yeah. come back here and just be the steady backup, it'd be a great, great fit. But about that, if bro. he got that taste with the Titans and he's thinking like, hey, at least, I, at least I got a chance. Whatever it's the chance is. It's nothing like that, bro. If it's a 5 or 10% yeah. chance I could be a starter, you got to at least take the chance Honestly, on yourself. as a player. That's what we all looking for, bro. We just want a chance. Because we all feel like we're here for a reason. Because we've all had to overcome so much. We've all had to be dominant at something for so long to even make it to be a 1%, right? So now when you get here and it's like, bro, you mean to tell me I'm not out there just because of a politic? Because of a draft? Because of a contract? Like, hold on. And I feel like at times, yeah, all of us have felt like that, man. And for Dobbs, this is a scenario where it's kind of like, yo, I finally get that chance where those politics aren't all the way in play. And I got a coach here in Vrabel that also is kind of like that same mentality. Blue collar, doesn't care about what you might have done over there or what you might look like or where you were drafted. Can oh, the, you ball? The guys that he you know plays, what I mean? bunch like, can of you no-namers. Ball? I'm like, yeah. how is this defense any good? Honestly, though, <laughs> like as a player, you love that. That's the thing we love about Coach Tomlin. When Coach Tomlin, you get here, he's like, yo, I don't care about what means you got here. If you can play, you can play. And he will highlight James Harrison. He's like, bro, this is the dream. This is the NFL dream. Like, don't tell me I'm not 6'4", 260. Tell me, man, you're a perfect size, man. Make it work. Like, that's what I want to hear. That's right before you, bro. That's Coach T for you. 